welcome back to my channel. I'm Sania and for those of you who are new today, I'm currently interning in the United Nations in Vienna and through this channel I'm trying to share my experience living here, how, it, how life is like in Austria coming from Pakistan and how I'm managing everything on my own. So a lot of you guys requested me to share my motivation letter and my resume. So this is what this video is going to be about. Before sharing my motivation letter and resume, I just want to make it clear that I'm not an expert in writing a cover letter or a resume. These are just the documents that I sent to the UN application for my internship and this is what got me in the UN. So I hope this helps you in some way because I remember when I was writing my motivation letter, I was constantly looking for videos on YouTube to get help from because I just didn't know where to start from. So I hope this helps you and let's just jump right into the video. I'm gonna walk you through the motivation letter paragraph by paragraph. So let's start with the first line. Now in the start you have to write something like dear sir ma'am or you can also write to whom it may concern because you don't know who's gonna check your motivation letter so it's better to write something like that. And then you start your motivation letter by telling what your current position is, what you are doing at the moment. So for me, I was a recent graduate in business administration and I wrote down that I'm a graduate in bachelors of business administration and then I wrote down the university that I graduated from. So if you are currently studying somewhere, you write down the subject that you're studying and the name of the university. And the same goes for people who are working somewhere. You write down the position that you are doing and then you write down the name of the organization. And then I said, being a fresh graduate, I'm looking for a job in the business sector because I graduated in business administration. So I was looking for a job specifically in the business sector. And then in the next paragraph, so I feel like this is a very important thing that you should add in your letter. So what I do is I write down the position that I'm applying for. So for me, it was like I was applying for the internship in Division of Budget and Finance. So I wrote this short paragraph about the position and then I said that I have attached all the documents that were required. I feel like adding this small paragraph makes it easy for the recruiters to know what you're applying for. So make sure that you add this paragraph. Then we head over to our next paragraph. So in the third paragraph, what you should do is you should start telling them what kind of skills you can contribute to the organization. What will you learn from the internship? Um, you can mention some of the subjects that you studied that are relevant to the position that you're applying for. And if you are a fresh graduate, you can also say that you have a lot to learn. Um, so let's start this paragraph. So I started the paragraph by saying that I have been dedicated to working hard at learning and that I would be very interested to get any experience that would allow me to learn more. And then I say that getting this position will help me to grow and improve myself. So this shows that you are willing to learn new things, new skills, new technologies, because internship is all about learning. They don't expect you to know everything. So you are in the learning process and in the internship, you learn a lot. And then you can write something like, I'm looking forward to getting responsibilities in your company. This will show that you are ready to take on any challenges, any responsibilities. And then what I suggest you to do is try to relate the subjects that you have studied in your university with the position that you're applying for. So for me, because I was applying for a finance internship, so I tried to include all those relevant subjects which I thought would be relevant for this position. So I said that with a degree in business administration, I have acquired knowledge of business and management and try to tell them what kind of skills you learned from those subjects. So for me, I wrote that I have quantitative, analytical and problem solving skills because of these courses. This will show that you do have knowledge of these subjects and that you can contribute whatever you learned from those subjects in the internship. Then I say, I wish to bring my skills and knowledge to your company's innovative environment. Now here you can include any kind of skills that you have. And then I say, being a fresh graduate, I have a lot to learn. Just like I told you before, internship is all about learning and they expect you that you are willing to learn new skills, new technologies, new softwares. So this is what I said, that I have a lot to learn in the industry and I'm fully prepared to learn new technologies and skills. 
Now adding this line will show how motivated you are to learn new skills and technologies. And then I say that I'm hoping to develop my soft skills because obviously when you're working in such a big organization, you will learn soft skills like professional writing, teamwork, leadership, management, etc, etc. In the fourth paragraph, I explained the position that I was doing at that time. So I was working part time with a US based real estate company. I tried my best to portray that position in a way which would help the recruiter know what kind of skills I learned from that position. So I started by telling what my role was. So I said I have been promoted from virtual lead assistant to virtual lead manager. And then I told them what I used to do when I was a virtual lead assistant and what I used to do when I was a virtual lead manager. So here you should write down all the work experiences that you have because it will show that you do know how to work in a team and that you do have a professional background before. So what I suggest you to do is show what you got. Don't just tell. Now here you can see I mentioned something about CRM which is customer relationship management. Now this tool is widely used in today's world, which is like a technology for managing your company's relationships and interactions with your customers. So this shows that I do have knowledge of the latest technologies. And then I started telling them what my role was when I was a virtual lead manager. Now here I wrote down the responsibility that I had. My responsibility was to call real estate agents and encourage them to work with us. This shows my communication skills. This shows that I do know how to talk with clients. I do know how to interact with customers. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to tell them what kind of skills I have by showing them what I used to do. And then I say I handle more than 100 calls daily and also use email as a communication tool. Now here, what I tried to convey to them was that I do know how to send professional emails. Then I say calling agents on a regular basis has developed patience in me. Now adding this line shows that I'm patient and that I can face any kind of situation. If I go further down, you can see that I added a few more lines related to the job. You can see in this line, I'm also adding another keyword, which is B2B. It stands for business to business. This is another thing which is widely used in today's world. B2B means transaction that takes place from one business to another. So adding this line shows that I do have knowledge of B2B. And then I say I have gained experience in working with a technology oriented company and faced a lot of diversity. Now this shows that I do have experience in meeting people from all around the world and that I'm willing to work with people from everywhere irrespective of their religion, race, color, etc. Fourth paragraph, what I like to do is I like to add the extracurricular activities that I've done in the past. I suggest you to write all the activities that you have done and try to relate those to the position that you're applying for. So for example, if you were a leader of your basketball team or if you were a leader of your management team, add it in your letter. This will show that you have leadership skills, that you do know how to act as a leader. Even if you were not a leader and you were still part of a team, add it. This will show that you do know how to work in a team. So for me, I didn't have many activities, but whatever I had, I wrote in the letter. If you have worked on different projects in your university, you can also include that in the letter. You can say that you were the team leader and you used to assign different tasks to everyone because this will show that you do have team management skills and you do know how to handle a team. In the last paragraph, I write down some stuff about the company. What I do is I try to look for the company on Google and I try to search for what they're doing. And then I try to include that in the letter. This will show that you already know what the company is doing. So I said that I'm very motivated by the fact that your company is striving towards a sustainable future. This line shows that I do know what the company works for, what they're doing. And this will show that you are interested in working in the company. So I highly recommend you to read about the company first and then add something about it in your letter. This will impress them. This will show that you do know what they're doing. And then you can say something like, I'm very flexible. I can work out of my comfort zone. And then you can say something like, I will work very hard. I will be very responsible. And I'm looking forward to uh, become an intern in your company, etc., etc." And and then in the last line, I say that I'm very motivated while writing this letter and hope to become part of your company. 
and then you say regards or kind regards warm wishes or whatever you want to write and you write down your name so this is my resume i am not a professional in creating resumes but this is what i sent to the un for my internship so as you can see i created a short description two three lines and then my personal details my email current location mobile number and linkedin account if you don't have a LinkedIn account, I would highly recommend you to create one. And this template that I used for the resume, I made it on novoresume.com. I will put the link on the screen. And then you can see I put my education. I just added the latest education of mine, but you can obviously add your high school education if you want. Um, and then I added my personal projects. I did these projects in my university. And then my work experience my skills i suggest you to always check the job description and job requirements first and then update your resume and cover letter accordingly for example if they want you to know microsoft excel microsoft word try to add those softwares in your skills and then i added the languages that i know and my interests this was it for today's video i hope it was helpful and please let me know in the comments if you would like me to make any Kind of videos and i'll make it for you or if you guys have any questions feel free to put it in the comments below and i look forward to see you guys in my next video bye